Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are showing you the place we're staying at in West Virginia. It's called the uh, Browning Lambert ATV Resort and uh, I gotta say the pictures don't do it justice online. It's way nicer in person now that we're actually here and uh, you're out in the middle of nowhere. You can kind of see the big fields out there and stuff you just looked at and uh, let's walk around this place. Check out what it looks like on the inside. Yeah we got here and it has been real peaceful. I mean there's hardly no traffic on this road. Uh, we're to ourselves real private and that's something we're wanting. We want something big enough to accommodate our big group and something that was nice has outdoor venues so we can stay outdoors we have a nice little fire bit here we'll show you here in a minute but uh it's got great parking great doors it's, it's a great place so far that we met people they were here when we checked in super nice people they were very informative and they helped us out a lot with what our plan to ride was so uh, that was a really big help i think so yeah it helps we whenever, appreciate that it helps whenever your host is nice and they you know set you up for success and yeah. i feel like these guys are really doing that here yeah i feel like i could talk to them all day <laughs> great group of people they were they're really nice i appreciate that jared's a talker though i mean he talked to anybody for like six hours <laughs> yep. let's check this place out <laughs> so there's a big room out front if you want to you know, leave your stuff out front but also if you want to go around back there's a lot of stuff out back like and there's two gates on each side so you can lock your vehicles and your side by sides out back if you really want to you know, we just got the machines out here, you know, looking fresh. <laughs> yeah, well, we're waiting on the rest of the guys we got here all different times. Uh, so we're just we're killing some time, really, and we decided to make a video for them. Uh, the rest of the group will be rolling in. So we have a pretty good little group coming this time. But, yeah, we've probably got, like, three more people that's coming, like, three more groups of people. Yeah. Like, couples, I should say. This is a pretty sweet little fire pit. Really nice. Pretty sweet. Now we got, you know, our junk everywhere, so you got to look past that for a little while while we go through and check this place out. This is going to be the main uh, living quarters. Uh, I'll get you a call the headquarter there. Big old fridge. For all your, you know, stuff and things. <laughs> You never have enough stuff for things to tell. Uh, one thing that I will say I do like and appreciate about this is, is this place has its own touch. Like, uh, not to knock the Mayberry or some other places we have stayed, but when you go there, you get a nice place. You get a clean place, but you're just getting that little place. You don't get that home feel. You don't get the decorations. You don't get, you know, the placemats. You don't get the flowers that are cut. You know, I mean, these are fresh flowers that they cut today for us and put them here. So, I mean, this is something extra that they go up and beyond. So, you can't really speak in that volume of the people, you know, that are in this out. It's, it's, they're really good hosts, I'll put it that way. It gives you like a homey vibe, like yeah. you're staying in somebody's house, you know what I mean? So, that part's cool. You can see there's a big old, big old dining table, you know, you guys like to cook and stuff, you like to have, you know, group meals, you know, that's awesome for that. Uh, and of course, you know, they also got, you know, a couple little signs on the wall there, some of their own merchandise, you know, you can buy stuff from them if you want. They and also offer the uh, Hatfield permits, so we are going to be trying to ride some Hatfield. Uh, we got our permits through them, so that was a plus too. Yeah. But this is kind of like a smaller, uh, you know, living room area, so in case you do get rained out. They're calling for rain this weekend, we'll see if we get rained out or not, but, you know, it'd be a cool little place to hang out if you were stuck indoors, for, you know, if there was a monsoon or you were in like a foot of snowstorm. So, that part's nice. We're going to step out back here. Show you what it's like out here. I got a little grill set up if you want to use the grill. This uh, is the fenced in area he was talking about. Yeah, you can see right behind you there, there's a gate, no trespassing sign. Uh, over here, you know, you can fit several vehicles and trailers out here, no problem. Also, there's another fire pit back here in case you want to get it, you know, even though there's no traffic out there, if you don't want to sit by the road, you can always sit in the backyard. Or if you have two couple, you know, this house is set up to host multiple parties. Uh, so you can have a party up there and a party back here. It's not just, you know, for one group. You can, this place can be divided up into multiple groups. I think two or three groups can be in this place. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, another thing, you know, these people, they got Wi-Fi, you know, free Wi-Fi yeah. included. So it's always nice if you're like us, you like to upload videos, watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. It's always a good part to have. You know, you get bored, you can just, you know, again, you got entertainment if you get rained in. So, yeah. All right, let's sit back inside, check out some of the bedrooms. Now, 
I have noticed this man is obsessed with ducks. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I mean, they're literally, you know, taxidermy ducks all over the place. You could do a hunt around. I didn't ask him that. I'll ask him when I see him again. Get a hunting story out of him, maybe. Love good hunting story. This is going to be the master bathroom. Really spacious. <clears throat> I guess you had like the jacuzzi type stuff. Tub here. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got the stand up behind you. So you know, you can get in there and get all that dirty off of you. <laughs> Come on down here. Here's one of the sides that I was talking about a different group you can have. So, in this side, it'll accommodate up to four people. Uh, also, it has its own kind of accommodations with the refrigerator and the microwave. It has a little TV. It has its own door access to the outside, so you can come and go if you were in a different party. So, yeah, uh, that's a plus. Or, like, maybe, you know, it's like a huge family coming, you know, there's a master bedroom behind y'all, and then you can put the kids out here, you know, yep. let them have kind of their own little freedom, if you will, you know. And they got their own bathroom over here. That's a big plus for us. It's a total of three bathrooms, yep. uh, three showers, three toilets. That's going to be a big plus. Yep. Sweet little setup. Oh yeah, they got a little washer and dryer set up here. You know, you had to have something like you forgot. You only brought like two pair of underwear and you're staying for six days. <laughs> you can't be wearing them nasty, nasty underwear twice, you know. Ain't nobody will go commando. Master. Big old awesome bed. Whoever gets this is lucky. <laughs> yeah, I think Seamus is getting this one too. Yeah, Seamus came down. He had a long drive from Michigan to West Virginia is where we're at. Yeah. Uh, so he had a long drive. We decided that we'd let him have it so he can rest up for the trip. Yeah, so. Yeah, the master's got a big old TV in it. This TV's probably bigger than the TV that's in the main room. I mean, yes, it's, it's nice. nice. So this is this side of the house. We'll go to what's called the loft side. That other side that can be rented out. We'll step over there real quick and uh, check it out. Too. We got all of our stuff in here. We're still in the process of unpacking all our stuff. Can't take away, so don't judge us. All right. <laughs> See you right there. I heard Rick. Here. Here's the guy I'm going to go to the Again, this place feels really homey. I mean, it just feels really nice, clean. Uh, that's something a lot of people look for. It's clean, secure. I mean, it has a lot of what you want to see. We got little racks up here for your helmets. We got a couple set up there with the goggles on and stuff. They got little mats down on the floor, so you know you put your nasty boots in there. You don't have to leave them outside and worry about who knows what happening to them. And uh, also, I'll say today is a pretty hot day and uh, it's probably in the 80s, probably close to 90, but it feels nice and cool up here, which is important. You don't want to walk to a place that's 100 yeah. degrees. That always sucks. The, uh, the beds are set up, super soft beds, and they're actually pretty big. They're like the XL bunks. So, I mean, if you're a bigger guy, you're still gonna fit in this bunk right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's pretty, you got plenty of space. You know what I'm saying? So, Jared's probably about 5'10", probably 230. Uh, he's pretty size young. Uh, I mean, this bed's plain big enough. Yeah. Uh, On the bottom, big enough for two people. Yeah. Uh, another cool thing, yeah, it's, to me, it kind of reminds me of like an in law suite. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, it's set up the same. You got the sink, coffee pot, again, microwave. Yeah. You got another little bathroom in here, you know, keep all your little beard products in there, keep your beard looking good. If you got that going on, more power to you. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a nice place. I really like it. Let's go check out uh, outside. Let me step back out there. It's pretty nice though. Got the mats here. That was one thing too. Like I said, they helped us with the mats. They were super nice, super friendly. Yeah, really supportive. What we do. Now the cool thing about the outside is, whenever you roll up here, you can you know, pull up, unload all your stuff, and then. Whenever you got your stuff unloaded out of your vehicle, you can just pull it out back, and then the next person can pull up, unload all their stuff. You don't have a long trek up to, you know, pull all your stuff up. 
all in all, I would say I'm pretty impressed with this place. Like, you know, looking online, I was questionable on it. That's the way it goes with a lot of things. You know, what you see online sometimes is a little misleading. You're like, you know, I don't know about this place, but this place definitely impresses. Like, it's it's an awesome place. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, if you're looking for a nicer place for a bigger group, this place will definitely be for you. Especially if you like your privacy, if you like to just hang out with your bros, toss go back, whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? It's just your preference. It's just a good place. All right. Now, also, if you guys haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We're going to keep coming out with videos, you know, similar to this type of stuff, you know, side by sides, you know, places that we stay and stuff like that. The more you subscribe, the more you like, share with your buddies, and uh, turn on the notification bell, the more opportunities and stuff like that we'll get to do stuff like this, and we'll keep sharing with you guys. So, until next time, I guess we'll see you guys on the trails. See y'all.